emodels.co.uk. Make something awesome. Hi and welcome to uh, part four of uh, the models uh, build of the LaFerrari. And uh, if you watch the last one, we finished off doing all the uh, carbon fibre. So in this part, we'll move on and uh, get away from the decals. So we'll be doing front and rear suspension arms and front and rear brake discs. So we got to part ten and this thing on the engine. So uh, I've already primed up the uh, parts. I'll show you one of them. Um, as usual, just use the grey UMP primer. Uh, so we'll get those painted up uh, in the next bit. And uh, okay, let's model. Okay, so what we'll do is uh, do a bit of painting on the brake discs and calipers. So what I've done is, as I mentioned before, primed the UMP grey primer. Um, I've been, if I can find one, right, there we are. Spraying these up in the semi gloss black, and uh, the centres of the calipers are black as well, so I've sprayed those up. So, what I'm going to do now is paint the rest of the uh, brake disc in XO56, which is metallic grey. Really cool colour. So, we've got a brush. I mean, some of your paints are good for airbrushing. Um, that's good for uh, brush painting, um, but to kind of make them go further, if you put a bit of uh, thinner in with it as well, it doesn't dry out as quick. Okay, so I'll only brush up and make sure I'm on screen, paint away. Like when you're paint there, uh, doing your airbrushing, put it thinner makes it easier to go through the airbrush. And it's sort of similar with uh, your brush painting. Get a bit of thinner in, just loosens it up a bit, and uh, makes it easier to brush. It takes longer for the uh, evaporation to happen, and we can get a good cover quite quickly. You can use it up with uh, Tommy paints when they're going to dry out to sort of start pulling. And you can see it sometimes take a layer of paint off. So that's the first one. And the next one Thinner. As you can see, it covers really quite quickly. So you can only do two things to fill up the uh, little holes, because you can get those out with uh, some panel line later. Your edges. And you can paint the back. You know, I see it. You might as well get a, get a glimpse through something. And once all this is dry, I'll be masking off the calipers, and they'll be done in uh, in yellow. They look quite bright. Um, these are the uh, rear ones, rear brake calipers, because the uh, caliper itself goes round 
whereas the ones at the front it's just go straight across and also the smaller at the back I'm going to slap another bit, so I'll do a little bit of touching up with that later. basically with a bit of thinner. There we go, let's have a little dry, then we'll do a bit of masking off and do the yellow. So that's done the uh, front and rear brakes. So what we'll do in a sec is do the uh, spat parts um, in aluminium. And go we're doing the suspension arms with this one is X32 which is titanium silver and then you can pick out in between the uh, springs with the uh, X32 and then do the springs themselves with X1 cross black on there so uh, We'll come back and have a look at those in a minute too. So uh, that's the brush painting for now. So uh, that's a good idea. Um, this is from uh, Tony. That's Helgen 3.5. Here's the first one to show. Do this. Basically, get a bit of uh, your old thinner at the bottom of the uh, bottle. That's your X uh, 20A. Push up, an old rag or uh, some cloth, and those uh, up nice and clean. So uh, we'll leave that there. This is uh, one of the uh, suspension arms, so I've painted the bottom um, titanium silver. So what I need to do now is pick out the central column there. And if I can show you, it's as simple as. Some paint on your brush. And get it in there. Yeah, this is the uh, the part that's uh, pointing outwards. So that's the important bit. You can do around the back. Um, just so you know you've done it all. Uh, as long as you get these the front part 
done, so I'll let that dry. And then we can do the, the uh, spring itself in uh, the uh, gloss, uh, I can't think of the colour, gloss black, that's it. Tricky thing to remember. So again, this last one, I've done the other two as a practice. Centre. So again, we'll let that dry a bit, and we'll uh, do the, uh, the spring. Okay, that's so where we are now. Um, it's dropped a bit because I've filmed fitting the suspension arms and all these parts um, as per part eight, um, but I managed to film it in. Uh, portrait rather than landscape again so I can not really use it so I'll do a quick summary so I'll put the black suspension arm in and this bar across and this bit on top of the engine I mean this is only from the lighter part but it, uh, it was there so I did it and the front ones and this front part which I think the uh, bottom of the windscreen will fit on later um, so coming along so what we need to do next is with the brake calipers, the mask off the caliper itself and get that painted up in uh, yellow and then we can make up with the uh, these parts we've done in aluminium, done a panel line wash on those as well um, and not to forget the uh, poly caps otherwise wheels won't stick and then we can get those fitted and it'll uh, and it's looking a bit more cart-like. So I'll come back when I've uh, moved on a bit more with these and uh, we'll uh, see how easy they are to paint up. Okay, see you in the next bit. Okay, so that's the uh, calipers uh, all masked up ready for uh, priming. Gonna be priming them in UMP's white primer and then the X8 yellow. So uh, just thought to uh, show you where we're up to. I've also got the poly caps out so I'm going to start putting everything together and hopefully I won't forget those. So I'll uh, put those next to there as a reminder. Okay so I'll uh, get these primed and painted and then we'll be back uh, we'll start making things up. See you in a minute. Okay, so that's the uh, brake calipers done in yellow. Look really good, those. So again, got the front back. So what I'll do now is put these uh, tiny little Ferrari decals on. And if you look at the instructions, it's got the Ferrari. It's reading that way on this one and that way on this one. So it's they both read Ferrari. Like that. I mean, you can put them the right way around so they look right as you look at them, but it's going to be the wrong way around on one of them. If you get, get what I'm saying. Anyway, this is where I'll put in small decals on so you don't have to uh, mess around with the water or anything. So basically what you do is cut them out and get your micro set. And on the back, good, good 
give it a dollar power of the set. Turn it over and give it a minute or two. And what it'll do is soak through the paper and lift the decal off. So just while you're waiting to do that, we'll get a bit of set on the caliper itself. That's the uh, decal moving. So if we can pick it up, get it sticking to the desk. There we go. So this one reads that we're at. So we'll just leave that to uh, a bit of a soak and we'll put the uh, other one on. to uh, soak for a little bit. So basically that's a quick and easy way of getting little uh, decals on. Just soak them with some of the set and then you can place them on. So what I'll do, I'll move on to the, uh, the rear ones and get them all sorted out and then come back and we'll put uh, things together. Okay, so that's the uh, decal on the uh, rear ones as well. So what we'll do now is we'll make up, get these parts fitted up and then we'll get them on the uh, engine. So the important bit for this bit is, remember your pulley caps. Instructions. So we do the front ones first. So it's a caliper pull cap rivet. Um, so this part here, this part here, is on the opposite side to the brake caliper, so which way around you are. There you go. 
to bear instructions. So we'll do the next one. Then we'll remove another poly cap. So you also have a little groove on the side. Oh, on this one, I don't know if you noticed, but it was on the side there. See about three o'clock. So this one's pointing straight up at 12. It's again another way of making sure you get it the right way around. Very clever of uh, Tamiya. Designed to the caliper, and the bit that goes over the top, the top. So this, the top. So this has notches at to the top and bottom to match with there. So it looks like this, like that. So we get the poly cup in first. Extra thin in there. And the last one, get a plug up in. So this one again, one little knot to the top, which is there, so again you get the right way around. There you go, so that's uh, all four of those done, and all with the poly caps in. So let those dry for a bit and we'll fit him along with the uh, steering column to the car itself. Okay, back in a minute. Okay, so we'll let those uh, dry for a bit and fit the uh, front ones first. So here we've got the uh, front, uh, well the steering column it uh, goes up at each end. So you know that's the way we're at. So it attaches to the front part there, like that. So it steers around that. So what we'll do is fit this first. So slide it through. And here there's only two. Get in there and in there. And the next one. Seem to give it long enough to uh, try, so I'll fast, fasten that on there. We have steering. So the back ones 
and get them cupper pointing towards the middle. So these two go in here, and then the other two clip into the black one. with the uh, drive shaft. Got that bit. The end of the drive shaft goes into the centre of the hole. So you can do this on camera. Like that. As you can see, it goes into the hole there. And everything fits better all the way around. We'll get this uh, second one on. And again, so we can do it on camera. and calipers and suspension on there. Not pretty cool those uh, bright yellow uh, calipers there. And the Ferrari. So we'll leave that, uh, that bit there. So we'll uh, call that bit uh, finished there. So what we're doing next. So next we'll move on to doing, attaching some under, under panels. So we've got one at the front there with the uh, front splitter. And this part here that covers up the panel underneath with these things. Which could be battery. I think there's something to do with batteries. Uh, under there. Uh, there is more carbon D decals on this part uh, with these uh, extra bits on here. So uh, that's the bit we'll move on to. So we'll leave this part here. So uh, say don't forget to go along to CE models at uh, cmodels.co.uk. Uh, very good website. They've got virtually everything on there. So we'll leave it there. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm.